Optanium is an app that allows you to install and update apps directly from their releases pages. You can even receive notifications when new releases or updates are made available. It's mostly used for open source apps. So let's learn in this video how you can make the most of Optanium app. To install the Optanium app, we can launch browser and go to the link that I have given in description which will lead you to this github page of Optanium. Scroll down. We are gonna come to releases, tap on latest version. Scroll down once again. Come to assets and tap on this top most file here, this one and just download it. After the download, you just gonna install this and you'll get the Optanium on home screen. Now launch the Optanium app. Now in this app, here are lots of customizations that you can do, but I'm gonna be covering only those topics which are very much essential. Here are four tabs at the bottom. First tab app shows you the list of apps that you have added of which you want to get the updates of from their releases pages. Let's go to settings tab. Now here are lots of settings but you don't need to go in depth here. You're gonna set this background update checking interval. You can set it up to 30 days interval. I'm gonna apply it up to 7 days. Scroll down and make sure that you enable this option here. Enable background updates. Scroll down. Also you can check this check for updates on a startup. And this one also check for updates on opening an app detail page. This import export tab lets you import or export the Optanium settings. You can export your current Optanium settings and apps and even import them later. Now the second and main tab here is add app where you add the apps of which you want to get the updates. Now we're gonna see which sources of apps are compatible here. Tap on supported sources and these are the list of app sources which can be added. Among them few are searchable within this app that is GitHub, GitLab, you have Droid etc. Now there are two ways of adding the app here. Either you can enter the URL of the release pages of the app that you want to add or you can even search the app. As I had shown you earlier, only the apps from the sources which are marked as searchable here can be searched in this box. Now obviously the app that you want to add here should be installed on your device. Currently I have this Kanta app here. This is open source app which is available on GitHub. So I'm gonna demonstrate by adding this app to Optanium. As the app is from GitHub, I can directly search here. Search Kanta and tap on search. It lets you select the sources from which you want to source the app. Uncheck all of the boxes because I only need the GitHub version. Tap and select. It's gonna search. Now it gives you lots of results here but it's better option to pick the first one here. Pick and in order to do anything here tap on this add button. It's been added. Now if you go back and you can see on the apps tab it automatically shows you that this app needs update you will also be sent notification through this app on your device and you can tap on that notification to update the app directly as per the background update checking interval you have set on this app also whenever you open the optanium it will automatically check for updates for the added apps and you will be able to know which app needs update tap on this icon to update kanta and you can allow the permission for optanium to install the apps enable the optanium here and go back tap once again and yes we can now update so that's the level of comfort that this app gives to you you don't have to manually go to releases pages of the apps to see if the updates are available it will automatically notify any updates through notification or even after opening this app you can add more apps here so that's how you can use the Optanium app to install and update apps directly from their releases pages like this video and subscribe to this channel